Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. So today I am going to be showing you my own brand nude and my makeup routine for the last however long I've been doing it and just yeah just showing you everything to do with nude. It launches in less than a week. It launches on Thursday. I am so excited like literally from me announcing the name I was really scared like I was really nervous and I felt like sick and all the rest of it but now that's out there like I'm just excited like I can't wait for you guys to see it I can't wait for you guys to get it it is just going to be a very very oh the light just changed someone must have gone in if you would like to get early access I am actually opening the early access on Wednesday evening so if you go to the website I'll leave the link in the description and sign up for early access you can actually get on there 12 whole hours before it launches to everyone else and if not it is launching at 8am on Thursday morning oh my god I'm just so excited I'm still nervous but I am so excited I am going to show you how I've been doing my makeup recently all the products it's like a full breakdown that everyone has been waiting for. So, I'm going to start off with the trusty skin food. The amount of people who messaged me saying that I got them onto skin food, because obviously if you've been here a while, you'll know I have used this for years, is unbelievable. Like, I actually should be on commission for them because <laughs> so many people message me saying that they use it. So, yeah, I'm just going to put this all over my face. The lighting keeps changing because the sun is going in and out and it's really going to get me stressed out if this keeps happening. Oh well. Also, excuse my eyebrows because they are getting done next week and they are so light. I literally feel like I've got no eyebrows. So, yeah, normally I would do them. But as you can see, the skin food is just, it's just a game changer. Like, it actually just makes you look glowy and dewy without even doing anything. I just quickly do this because I feel like you've already all seen me do this a million times. At the minute I am using the NARS, I don't know which one this is actually. It is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear in shade Vanuata? Van no, Vanuatu. Vanuatu? Vanuatu. Vanuatu. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take that on. And then I got a new beauty blender from TikTok shop. I think it's the marshmallow one and it is amazing. I'm actually obsessed with it. So anyway, I'm just gonna put this on with a beauty blender. I used to put this on with a brush, but I really just, I'm obsessed with this beauty blender at the minute. So put everything on with this. Blend, blend, blend. As I have said before, on my last video, I am bringing out 14 products. <laughs> This has been the longest time in the making, like genuinely 18 months. It's finally here. So we have got a palette, um, a bronzer and blush palette as well. So when I originally started making the brand, I was like, I really want to bring out a palette, but like a full bronzer palette for people's eyes. I actually only ever use a bronzer myself for my eyes. I can never use eyeshadow. But, like, it's not a thing to have, like, a bronzer palette for your eyes. I don't even know if it's a thing to have, like, a bronzer palette, to be fair. Because it's, like, people just normally wear the one shade in bronzer. But I was like, if we bring out a bronzer palette for all skin tones, and then everyone can just use all the shades. They can do a smoky eye with bronzers. Like, I wouldn't have a bronzer that's, like, darker than my shade, usually. But it's such a good idea to just have it and use it as a smoky eye so yeah originally it was just supposed to be a bronzer palette but then I added blush because obviously we all know I'm just obsessed with blush and I thought you lot will be too so yeah I made it into a bronzer and a blush palette that is all blended in so I'm just going to take some of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in shade medium and just put some on my eyelids and then I'm just going to blend it out I'm actually just using my nude palette to blend everything in because the mirror in it is actually insane and I'm sat too far away from my mirror to be able to see into it. So this is as well, this is the palette, this is mine, it's a little bit dirty. I'll show you a new one. Um, but my main, one of my main things is that we need a big mirror so that we can get ready when we travel in and when we're like 
on holiday or when we like at his friend's house like there's nothing better than just having a good mirror so that's why that's got a great mirror in it i'm just gonna take some laura mercier powder and just set my lids so in that concealer so now for the exciting part. So if you order one of my palettes, it will come like this in the box. Nude, as you can see. I can't wait. For if anyone orders it, please, please like tag me in anything. Like I actually just can't wait to see you guys with it. This is the palette. And then this is the palette. Woo! I am actually obsessed with it. Um, how am I going to hold this so you literally can't see it in my thing? So, anyway, we have three shades of bronzer. So, we've got Top Tier, Go Getter, and Boss Baby. And then three shades of blush, which are Little Mermaid, Angel Girls, and Pretty Lady. And they are just, I'm sorry, but I am obsessed with them. So, I've also brought out two brushes that you can see here. These are a little, I have used these guys, they're not fresh, I'm sorry. Um, so this bigger one is called Blended. So you can see it's like a bigger fluffy brush. When I was making this, I was like, I just want a big fluffy brush. So it's really easy to like blend out the shades. Like there's nothing worse than when you get like a really tight brush and you can't blend it out. Like I was like, I just need it to be easy. Quick and easy makeup is what we are going for. So this is my blended brush. You can see like, oh, here we are. You can see it is like a big fluffy brush. And then we have got one a little bit littler called Intensify. You can see my bronze already on there. Um, and this is just for like if you want to add some depth and like do a smoky eye like I'm going to do. I'm going to show you. So, yeah. So I'm going to go in starting off with top tier on the blended brush, the big brush. And honestly, these bronzers and blushes are so pigmented. Like you actually just need the smallest amount on the brush. They're going to last you for ages because they really are super, super pigmented. This obviously is like the lightest shade. So I just go in for the lightest shade to start with, just to really like, well, to be fair, when I used to learn how to do makeup, they always would start with this, like a light shade of bronzer like this. Every makeup artist I know does it. They start with a lighter shade of bronzer. It must be like to define the crease. I'm not sure of the technical terms, but all I know that every makeup artist does it that I've ever had, so start off with the lighter bronzer like so and i even think this is so nice if you're just going out like for the day shopping you know you don't want anything too major just like a little light wash on the eyes this is actually stunning for that but we're gonna do a glam today so i am then gonna go in with go getter the middle shade and just put this over into the crease so you can see it is really darkening the eye. And I really think it's nice like when you bronzer on your eyes and you bronzer on your face all ties in together. I just think it gives like a really nice warm sun-kissed look. I love having bronzer on my eyes personally. It's all I wear. I, I actually think most girls do wear bronzer on their eyes like all my friends do. I'm just going in with the blended brush and just blending it all in together again. Um, all of my friends wear bronzers on their eyes. Like, I actually own, like, one eyeshadow palette, I think. And that's it. But I always pull it up as well. Up, up here to, like, really elongate my eyes when I am going to do my eyeliner. Then I am just going to go in with a little bit of Boss Baby. And just really darken the outer corner. And again, I put it on and then I'll just go in with the big blended brush and just blend it out. And these are so easy to blend, which is a dream. I've not put too much on there because I want to keep it quite like a light eye. But obviously each they're on, you can put as much on as you want. Really do a dark smoky eye. I am just going to do a light smoky eye today for us. Because I'm actually going shopping later. So I don't feel like why is she in full, full blown glam? And just blend 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 this blended brush is actually everyone's best friend it just really makes everything it makes life easy and yesterday one of the girls actually said to me that they put a little mermaid on the lid the other day and it looked unreal so you can also use the blushes as eyeshadows as well so it is basically an eyeshadow palette and a bronzer and blush palette which is just unreal 
then we are moving on to an eyeliner now obviously everyone knows by now that i am obsessed with eyeliner and i couldn't not bring one out because i just couldn't not bring one out i have brought out two shades i have brought out bronzite and i have brought out obsidian this is a brown liner and um, i'll actually put them both on my hand so you can see but when I was designing this eyeliner pen, literally I was like, I have been through every single eyeliner pen on the market. Like I'm not even exaggerating every single pen. So I knew what I wanted this tip to be like. I wanted it to be quite long, but thin and quite bendy because there's nothing worse than when you get a stiff eyeliner pen and you're trying to do the flick and it's just impossible to do. So we went through a lot of tips when designing this and I finally came to, this is the tip. So you can see, it's just... It's just perfect if I do say so myself. So let me just put some on my hand so you can see. So this is the brown. It's like a gorgeous brown colour. So I wear brown through the day. Like through the days when I wear a brown every day, day to day. And then a black I will wear to go out if I want my makeup to be more glam. So this is obsidian. And this is a gun. The tip is exactly the same but it is just a really gorgeous black liner so there we are we've got bronzite and we've got obsidian and they are the two shades but today i am going to wear bronzite because it is actually the morning and i am going out through the day so i want to have a nice brown wing on doing this on here it's gonna be a test but basically so when i do my eyes i always just start off in the middle i'm gonna not talk when i'm doing it i start off in the middle and i go out first so just above the black pupil of my eye right to the corner like that and then I just fill it in along there and then I'm going to follow my the bottom of my eye I'm going to do a flick upwards so if you can see this you can see how nice and thin the pen is and then we're just going to join it along so that is done it is literally as easy as that it's so easy because the pen is so fine and it just literally is the easiest flick to do and i don't know how i would do that flick because i just wouldn't look the same like i'm just flicks make me they complete me without a flick i'm a shell of a person both eyeliners are now on and i'm sorry but she's back the bitch is back <laughs> i'm joking so yeah, that is my eyeliner pens, comes in two shades and they are just a dream. I can't wait for you all to try it and tell me that you've all now mastered eyeliners because of the nude eyeliner pen, because it's just going to happen, it's what's going to happen, I can already see into the future. Then I'm just taking this L'Oreal mascara and I'm just going to put some mascara on. I really feel like I need to get like a warm light for in here because this light really just washes me out. It is my dressing table mirror light, but it's so white. It's like a really white LED light. It really just makes me look super pale. Anyway, mascara is on. I like to go over and do like two layers of mascara. I wish I had a fresh LVL because then my lashes literally look like they are fake lashes. I will decide in a minute if I'm going to add lashes, but I'm going to carry on with the rest of my face for now. As usual, I'm going to use the Hourglass Foundation Stick. I actually seen Sophia Rich using this yesterday as a concealer on TikTok, and I was like, oh, I need to try that. So, just around the head and my nose. We're good to go. If I'm ever at home and getting ready, my dad always walks in and he's like, at this stage, he's like, Mary, what are you doing with your face? And I'm like, you've got to trust the process, dad. Blend this in. I can just honestly say to you guys, this week has got me so excited for summer. Like, I am unbelievably, undeniably ready for the hot weather to come back in. I can't wait. Summer is just the best time of year. It's my birthday in July. I know we're nowhere near July yet, but I mean, it's coming around so fast. Like, we're already at my brand launch, and that is the end of April. Like, it's genuinely going to be my birthday before I even know it. And I can't wait. But then at the same time, I'm just so scared to turn 24. 
Like, I feel like 23, I can still kind of get away with, like, being young. But, like, 24 just really seems daunting. And I genuinely thought when, like, I was growing up that, like, my life would be so sorted by 24. I thought I would have, like, met a husband. I'd be having kids. And honestly, like, I couldn't be further from what I used to think. And it's quite scary, you know? Like, it's really daunting. I don't like getting any older. I wish that I could just freeze time and stay at this age forever because I genuinely still think of myself as being like 20 and I'm 23 I'm going on 24 and that is just so scary to me like I just want time to stop I don't want to grow up so and then I'm just going to go in with the tart concealer but this one is light medium so it's a little bit lighter than what I used earlier on my eyes and also guys there is a Sephora now in the UK like what the hell I've only been waiting like my whole life the whole 23 years I'm alive for this to open and it's finally opened I didn't even know and then someone commented on my TikTok video and told me and I was like wow and it's online so I ordered loads of stuff online from Makeup by Mario actually I've never tried his stuff before so I ordered some stuff and hopefully it'll turn up probably today actually uh yeah I'm just gonna blend this in with my favourite beauty blender one thing guys that is actually really important that I always see people don't do. So when you are blending out your concealer, you need to take it literally all the way up to the flick. Like genuinely, you need to have the pointy bit pressing and you want like it to be really light under the flick and that's going to really make you just look really light and lifted. Like if you don't blend all the way up there... It's not going to give that pulled back effect. So, yeah, make sure you do that. Make sure you really drag the concealer up to, like, your temple. It really just lifts the face. So then I am going to put some of my Made by Mitchell blush on. My darling Mitch. This is in shade Melon Sorbet. So this is, like, a really soft, like, orangey blush, liquid blush. It genuinely just makes you look like you've got a suntan, this blush. I'm obsessed with this colour. I only recently actually started using this colour blush. And I was like, where have I been? It was in my drawer as well. And I was like, why have I never used this? And it just literally makes me look like I've been on holiday for a few days and caught a little tan on the cheeks. I mean, we all need that. It's coming into summer. Give me that fake tan because I have literally no tan at the minute. I'm just going to blend this in now. But speaking of holidays, I have... My first Ibiza trip next month. Wait, yeah, next month, May. I'm so excited. I just want to get some sun. Like, obviously, I know I was going to wear quite a lot at the beginning of the year, but it was never sunny. And I just can't wait to sit in a bikini and get a tan. And Ibiza, it just has my heart. You know, I went, like, five times last year. I just love it. I've always gone to Ibiza since I was 18. And it's just a special, special place. So I'm really excited to go there. I'm actually going there on a Mars label trip. And I am going to try and get a trip into Qatar before that. While I'm speaking, I'm just going to use the YSL powder, powder puff that I found on TikTok shop. Is that setting my face? Yeah, so I'm going to try get a trip into Qatar in like two weeks, if I can, depending on like how the brand launch goes um, and like how, if I can be, if I can leave the UK so soon. But if I can leave the UK, I am going to nip over to Qatar because my cousin actually has moved there he's a pilot and he flies for Qatar Airways and me and Dec like growing up we're so close like I'm so close with all of my cousins because I've only got a really little family so there's literally like 10 of us in my whole entire family including grandparents and all my cousins and my auntie and uncle so like literally I have a tiny family anyway so he moved to Qatar um the end of last year and I have seen him because he did come home. I felt like I just need to go out and let him see a familiar face so I can have some time off. My cousins and my auntie have just actually come back. They went to see him a few weeks ago. So I think it should be really nice if I can get that time to just nip over, even for like four days, just to see him because I miss him. Like we're literally so close. We was like brother and sister growing up. So that would be really nice if I can nip there and see him for a few days. And I'll just tell everyone wouldn't it be cool if you could actually fly the plane that I go over on? I mean, I'm pretty sure, like, he'd probably already have his schedule, so he couldn't just do that. 
I might just tell everyone anyway on the flight, like, oh, my cousin's flying this plane. <laughs> even though he's not but how crazy is that he's only a year older than me and he's a pilot he's been a pilot since he was like 21 he used to fly for Ryanair and now he flies Qatar Airways and lives halfway across the world has the craziest job just flies everywhere around and it's just the best job ever like I really wish I was a pilot because he lives the dream and he's living in Qatar and it's just I'm so proud of him I really chase that dream we are going to go in now with the palette for my bronzer. So I dot between the two. I use top tier and go getter. I just do like a little like dab in between the two. And I am going to use my doubled up brush. So this is a doubled up brush. One side is for bronzer. One side is for blush. And I made this brush because I really felt like when we go on a night out, there's nothing worse than we've got to take 500 million brushes on the night out. So I was like, I'm going to make a doubled up one so girls just have to take the one brush out. And I mean, I'm obsessed with it. So yeah, the brushes, you are going to die because they are amazing. Just wipe my lips because I actually think there's nothing worse than a foundation lip and I've just clocked that I had that. So anyway, I'm going in with the bronzer. wow 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 so these are honestly guys so pigmented and you can just mix between the shades and they're just the perfect bronzer colors if i do say so myself i'm just gonna go over and get down my neck and take it around my head because i mean i actually have quite a big forehead so I have to really bronzer that shit and contour that shit so that it doesn't look as big. I remember in school, like, when people used to go around and be like, you've got a five head, you've got a four head. I was always the five. So, yeah. That is my bronzer. It just brings you to life. And I'm sorry, but in summer, this is going to be everyone's best friend of a palette because bronze on the eyes, bronze on the face, blush on the cheeks. Like, do I need to say any more? It is just perfect. I'm so proud of myself. And I know you're all going to love it because I am literally obsessed with it. It's just stunning. It's so stunning. And obviously we have all three shades. So I don't know if you've seen any of my models. Like, Let me just show you some pictures if you haven't already seen them. I'm sorry, but let me turn my phone sideways, in fact, so you can get the full effect. Look at my models. Can you see that? Wow 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 these are the models from my shoot they are just incredible they are honestly when i met them i was like i'm just so obsessed with how beautiful you all are i think they actually thought i was a bit of a creep by the end of the day because i just was like every time i seen them i was like you're just so beautiful i just love you and i bet they was like right like we're well, weird go away but anyway i loved them if you're watching this love you I'm going to attempt to fill my eyebrows. I'm not too sure how it's going to go because when they're like this, they're literally like see-through. Like, I look like I've not got hair there, but there's so much hair there. It's just so light, which is just the most annoying thing. I'm just using the Benefit pencil. I'm just going to attempt to fill these brows in. Here we are, my brows are filled in. I really just love it when I've freshly had my brows done and I don't need to do anything to my brows. But unfortunately for all of us i had to do a lot with my brows so anyway just setting that with the benefit clear brow gel and then just going to dust off my under eye and do my favorite part of my makeup which is blush and lips it's just my favorite part of the makeup like i feel like my makeup always looks like nice like i'm doing well but then i add a blush and a lip and i'm like bam wow this is special and now it's my own blush that makes me do that and my own lips that make me do that so for my blush i actually like to wear all of them this is the fresh palette which is why it doesn't look used guys this is the new one so that you're not all seeing a dirty one um but i use all three depends on what mood i'm on some days i just use one of them some days i just I use all three of them some days i use two of them that is really the beauty of having a palette with three blushes in because you can just do whatever you feel on the day so today I'm feeling a bit of Angel Girls and a bit of Little Mermaid. The iconic mermaid is coming through. So I'm just going to dab them in there. One thing I will stress to you all is, like, before I've even tapped off, look. 
this blush guys is so pigmented like genuinely so just tap it off on your hand a little bit before you go straight onto your face because otherwise you'll be like whoa wow so yeah we're just gonna put this on to our cheeks oh, i'm just obsessed i'm sorry but i'm actually obsessed just look at that cheek compared to this cheek it's just giving life it just it just gives me life like i genuinely just i'm obsessed i love it i love it so much this is just a mixture of angel girls and little mermaid both together really just making me have these rosy cheeks and down the nose wow oh my god i'm just obsessed this is where i get carried away and i just like to put it all over my face and really i should just stop at the cheeks and the nose but you know what a little more blush never hurt anyone so yeah i just want to look like i'm on holiday i mean i could keep going but this is the perfect blush for me but i mean i could just keep going and going and going because i am just obsessed and i love to look sun-kissed but this is the blush I just, I just know you're all gonna love it. I know you're all gonna love it. I just know you are. I'm going to show you all creme brulee right now, but we have got creme brulee, we have got toasted, and then I have also got cola. So I'll just show you these shades so you can see them. So this is creme brulee. Obviously all of this will be on the website as well and the Instagram if you want to see it again. But this is creme brulee. These are the two eyeliners. So this here is creme brulee then we have toasted toasted is so nice like sometimes i will wear toasted by itself and then with a pretty gloss over the top through the day or whatever so this here is toasted creme brulee toasted and then we have cola i'm obsessed with all three let me show you cola should really do it on my arm maybe shouldn't i but and that is cola. So we have cola, toasted, and creme brulee. They are the three shades of lip liner. They are also a twisty lip liner. So as you can see here, you just twist it up. Because the reason behind this is there has been too many occasions this has happened to me where I have gotten somewhere, like gone on holiday to a remote resort that has no shops and I've forgotten my sharpener for my lip liner or I've been on nights out and I've realised halfway through the night my lip liner is blunt. There is nothing worse in this world. Like there's no greater disappointment. What am I supposed to do? Walk around with no lips all night. So when I was designing this, I was like, it has to be a twisty one. Like it's not an option for me. It has to be because I'm sorry, I do not have time to look like I've got no lips on nights out. I'm trying to find a boyfriend. I'm trying to find a husband. We need to make it work. So anyway, that is why that is like this. And they are just such creamy formulas. Honestly, it's just the best. So going with the creme brulee, I have got creme brulee, yeah. Creme brulee, you're gonna line the lips. Like you can see, it's such cream formulas that I do actually just wear these by themselves with a gloss because they're just perfect. They are so perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Delicious. Ah, so excited. So, oh my God, I'm just obsessed. I'm just obsessed. So, I am going to put on Darling Girl, but we have got three shades of the liquid lip that dries matte and it is to a die for. So, I'm running out of places. I really should have like thought about this swatching business. Um, I'm so sorry this isn't professionally swatched, guys. Like I know people do it on the arms, but I'm gonna wipe the hand and start again. Eyeliners really don't budge, which is great, but they don't budge. So darling girl what i am going to put on now is this shade here then have sweetheart so this is like a medium nude oh, wow it's just the formula on these are unbelievable so this is sweetheart you see 
And then, last but not least, we have French Kiss. So, I'm obsessed with all of them. This is like if you want a darker lip. Sometimes I put French Kiss on with a little bit of Darling Girl in the middle. The possibilities are endless with these lips, if I do say so myself. So that is French Kiss. So they are the three liquid lips. All together, they make the perfect nude. See what I did there? See what I did there? No, I'm not even just saying it. They are obsessed and everyone who's used the lips and even like makeup artists who have used it now, I like Mary, the lips are, the, like, everything's amazing, but the lips are gonna be special. Like I feel like you're all gonna die for the lips because they are just incredible. And But then even the palette as well and even the brushes and even the eyeliner pens, like it genuinely is all, I can't live without it. So I'm gonna put Darling Girl on. What I like to do is I like to put it on with the brush and then either dab it in with my fingers or just take a random brush that I have and just really dab it on like this. This will not budge. Like, you can do it with your finger or do it with the brush. I just don't fancy getting my fingers dirty. This genuinely is not going to come off all night it doesn't go crusty it's quite like a velvety texture when you put it on and then it dries matte and it's like one of the only matte ones i've ever found that hasn't dried my lips out like it's still hydrating ready you know what if you put this on you could kiss 100 people and it'll still be on by the end of the night last but not least my two glosses that are just two die for everyone everything's just a die for i'm so excited for you all to try it pretty and four two five so right now i am going to put on pretty but i'm going to show you them both pretty is like a pink high shine gloss you can see there and then four two five is a clear gloss with like little bits of sparkle in so if you're a clear girl this is just you're going to be obsessed, I'm sorry. There we are, there is the 425 and Prinny. And they are just to die for. But I am gonna put Prinny on now just to finish off this makeup look. Prinny's really nice, just over like toasted or creme brulee by itself. Oh, wow. But that is my makeup that is nude that is what i have been working on for the last 18 months and it is finally here i am literally just so excited for you all to see um i just hope that like i see one of you with my lip glosses like that would genuinely just make me the proudest happiest most excited person on the planet like i genuinely can't wait and thank you so much to all of you for the response that i had when i announced the brand and announced the name like genuinely i cried so many times that day because i was so overwhelmed with everyone's support and everyone's kind messages and everything it's just really surreal guys and thank you so much for that and hopefully you will all love it when it launches on thursday the 27th this week it is literally this week and i am so excited and i can't wait for you all to see so this is my makeup this is nude in my nude even my dressing gown's nude everything in my life is just going nude now like nude nude so anyway guys i really hope you have enjoyed seeing all the products i really hope you're excited because i am so excited i literally could burst at the seams i can't wait for you all to try it please give me the feedback if you get any and just send me pictures if you get it or just everything please just if you even see someone with a new product please just send me it because i am just so excited to see everyone with it so thank you so much for watching this video i really hope you love the makeup the look the brand and set your alarms for 8 a.m on thursday because yeah or sign up to early access and it'll be 8 p.m on wednesday it's up to you whether you want to be an early access or an early riser it is up to you but thank you so much for watching this video guys thank you again from the bottom of my heart for all of the support over the last two weeks it has literally been very overwhelming and very surreal but thank you so much set your alarms and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.